Welcome back to another eerie and exciting episode of the Spooktober Specials. Ah, uh, I think today we're gonna do... Hmm. Alone in the Dark. Or more. Yeah. Let's see how we get on with this. Tank controls, now we know how to do certain things. Well, let's see where we left off, shall we? Now you dear viewer, do you know where we got to? Downstairs? Loaded, got loaded rifle. I think it's got loaded rifle. I think that's after downstairs, because the other one is just the first time we got downstairs. Did we stop this because we didn't know where to go? Or... Got a matchbox poker, a gramophone, a first aid case. An old cavalry saber, the chest's key, the dresser's key. We've opened a chest because that's where we got the sword from. Then we've opened a dresser because that's where we got something else from. So we can drop. Uh, the chest key, drop. First aid case is empty, isn't it? Oh, right, okay. Now it's empty. Empty first aid case. Drop. Flask, a matchbox, a poker, a gramophone, an old cavalry saber. It's not broken. An empty oil can. It's empty because we filled the oil lamp. Please, Jeremy's letter, a rifle. Alright, so. Now we want to leave all of these things. God, I've forgotten the buttons. I've been playing too many new games. Okay. Did we ever figure out if that was a run button? This room is in the dark. Yes. An oil lamp use. And then the guy. Oh, come on! I do love that, that thing just. We might have to. There we go. We got. We got hit by it. Let's just go through this door, shall we? Okay, so we're back downstairs. <sighs> Let's put away the uh, oil lamp. Alright, let's just... Get ourselves ready for a fight. So we'll go back down here, because I can't remember what was over here. That goes downstairs proper. I mean, are we supposed to just be leaving the house? Oh wait, we got killed by zombies, didn't we? These zombies! I recall now. How do we save? Save game. Down with the zombies. Come at me! And have at you! Okay. Oh, 
It's coming from this side. Oh no, it's two. Swing wildly. You feel weak. Ah, oh, what? Come on, man. I don't know why that musical sound is doing what it's doing. I've got a rifle. Now, when you hold over the rifle, it says 10. But when I shot it before, it said I had nothing to reload. You have no ammunition. Shot the one in the chair. It's like you can only have one sound effect on at a time. It's two of those guys done. Yeah, it obviously holds ten shots. What do you reckon? Is that in line? Yes. Oh my god, we shot the back of a chair. Oh shit, again. Come on! Oh my god! No! Ah! Why? Save game. Down with zombies. We're going very down with the zombies. you bastard. Oh my god, we missed. Get back, I tell you. Back, I say. If anything else bursts in, we check. How are we doing for bullets? We have none. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a cheeky bit of COVID. Let's, uh... <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Nothing there. Okay, we've got two doors. We can go next door. Let's check the fireplace though first. We're in a creepy old house. We should definitely check the fireplace. Nothing important. Then this cupboard. Can we dash? Nothing important. Okay. Behind this creepy door. What is going on? It's a lack of cover. <coughs> oh, it's smoke. 
It's poison smoke! <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Absolutely brilliant. Load save game. Down with zombies. And we try again. I wonder if I can hit this one. Him. Just fight. Come on. Oh. Ooh, well, that's not very good, is it? Load a save game. I think maybe we're unwell. Do we have anything we can consume? A flask. Pick up the rifle! Come at me! Fight me! Shots on. Now we know there's nothing in the fireplace, but there's nothing in this cupboard. We know through that door is some smoke that will kill us. The question is. What's through this door? And should we save it first? A typo there. That's not an ominous corridor at all. Kitchen, eh? Okay. I have checked all this before, but was that. did I die afterwards? I can't remember, so let's just double check. Yeah, we must have done. Goodbye. I said good day! Take a box of shoes. It's full of water. You find an oil can. Find a knife. Always useful. Anything else? Nothing in that one? How about that one? It's probably just one hitbox in there for the whole cupboard. Take a pot of soup. If 
find a box of matches. Okay. In that case, save game. So we'll go for this door, so that means that corridor goes down and round. But does that mean that we missed one? No, that just goes out that way, that's fine. But what was this? And then what we went through. So that door is where the zombies were. Yes, that door's where the smoke is. So that door we've not been through, but also what is at the end of the hallway? More doors. More door! One does not simply walk into more doors. It's locked. Okay. In which case we do simply walk towards more doors. A bunch of them. Okay. What's through the end one? Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, let's not do that again. So the end. <laughs> Is that a door just there, actually? It's a different cupboard! It's a key. Yes. Makes me almost glad that I died. You find a box of biscuits. Oh yeah, I saw this last time. Just forgotten. Okay. So we know what's down all of those. Did we go down here? the main entrance. If that is the case. What's this way? Some more doors. That one's locked. But this one is not. Oh, it looks cursed. I don't like it. <laughs> I wonder if this key we have Have a cellar. Few more monsters. We've got rats. Do we reckon they can kill us? We're in a creepy cellar. Oop. Oh, I saved it, but I didn't change the name. Oh, never mind. Just in case that rat. Can... Are they unkillable? Or what? <laughs> well, well, they still attack. Genuinely gonna get killed by rats. Or do they only attack when you stop? Alright, we 
found a way to go. <laughs> He's been eaten by rats. So were we, were we killed by the rats though? That's, that's such an awful noise. You find some bullets. Hells to the yeah. So were we killed by the rats or were we killed by the barrels? Can we go down there? Oh. I mean, this, this doesn't look like a good idea. Mysterious hole. Oh. That looks like something we should probably shoot. But we have bullets, they must be for a different type of gun. A rifle, Jeremy's ladder, a gold police, not a lamp, a bow, gramophone, a poker? <sighs> so it's some sort of word. Okay. Let's, ru let's run away from the mysterious hole. Get Come on. Just kick him. No, don't walk in there. Get him run! Look at this tomfoolery. And back up the stairs we go, like the coward we are. Mustachioed coward. Mustachioed coward! Yes! Let's eat some biscuits. You feel better. Is there anything in the bushes? No. What's with this weird statue? We found an arrow, but we can't carry it. Okay, that's fine. Um, spiders! An empty flask. Drop it. Oh, come on! You feel weak. You are eaten by spiders. These fucking controls. <laughs> Are those rats hurting each other? Is that what's going on? Loading the upstairs animation. <laughs> I can't get up the stairs. Right. What we're going to do is heal with uh, biscuits. You feel better. 
and we're going to save. Um, uh, that's this hall. Now we know there are spiders in this garden bit. Which we could get and run away from. Or we could check the other door. Okay, not creepy at all. You find a record. Alright, I've got a gramophone here as well. Uh, amazing, right, okay. An empty box, um, we can drop the empty box. Why can't I carry anything else? I've just dropped an empty box. Except it didn't. Key to the cellar, so it is just... Let's throw that away. Okay. An empty box. Let's throw that. I don't want any of those, but I do want that record. Oh, am I supposed to put it on the thing here? Is that a... Let's go with... A record. Use. They seem to dislike this music. How do I turn it off? Listen to the boot on it, there is no room. Touching them. <laughs> ah. Okay. So they don't seem to like that record. For whatever reason. Let's go and open the door. Some crap. So we've got an empty box. There we go. He throws it so very far. A block. I wonder if we need that. I mean, we need it to move the thing, but I don't know if that necessarily needs to be put to. Key to the cellar. Can throw that. Ah, a pot of soup. A box of shoes. There's the gun. Empty shoebox, we will throw away. An empty flask, we'll throw away as well. So we've got a revolver. And what looks like some bullets for it. Possibly. You find a record. No room, 
So well, let's put that down there. We're listening to the blue Danuk. Keen on the blue Danuk. So we need to find. from the spiders because spiders can't use doors hopefully This bomb door is insta death. This one's locked. And this one is open. Oh, sounds ominous. Ah, I was wondering if we're supposed to fight him with the sword, and now I have to reload it because I don't have a sword. Um let's find out by shooting him. Oh, for three hours as well. <laughs> yeah, so that's not doing anything. sword <laughs> um damn but i broke it A pot of soup.
Ah. <coughs> no, 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 no. It's locked. I was swinging wildly, these are the rules. <laughs> we have to restart. Right, so we can't get the book, and the book is something about protection because we read it before we died. Um, so we know that's not the jam. to be through there so we can't get past the to the kitchen those stairs already lit. What are the matches? Um. Don't have my gramophone anymore. thing in the bath.
What? Nothing important in the wardrobe. Find a notebook. Ah. Now. So basically, fuck this game off. Phone again now. I'm not because that place is covered in spiders. <laughs> Don't say bedroom, honest. with no skin. Turn into balloons. Yes. So there's nothing else for the Diary of Jeremy Hartwood. September 27th. 1924. I have decided to keep this diary. Too many inexplicable events have taken place recently. Never have dreams so haunted my every waking moment. <laughs> Perhaps my romantic mind was too dull and has only now woken up to these new paths and visions. Some, seeing my recent paintings, may question my sanity. I can only ask them, what is sanity? Where does madness begin? September 28th, 1924. The night is pitch black. I am again drenched in sweat. 
I was wandering in the dunes, among giant standing stones. They were arranged in a circle, and the wind whistled about them. I plunged my hand into the soil and felt that repulsive thing which was trying to catch me. It seized me. I struggled to break free of its loathsome embrace and managed to tear my hand away. It was covered in sticky substance. I was gripping a knife. October 5th, 1924. The stone circle is a pentacle. Der Seto's library is filled with books on the occult. I will study those books until I find some explanation for the dreams. The visions that haunt me must be connected to my discoveries. I shall have to undertake a profound exploration of my dreams. December 16th. Dear God, I have found the knife. It was hidden here, and what I have learned fills me with apprehension. It is a sacrificial dagger belonging to some unholy cult. The thought of that blade tearing through human flesh horrifies me. Yet I must continue my research. Der Seto is a storehouse of treasures. Was my father right after all? January 23rd. I spend all my days plunged in dusty books. The servants are convinced I am mad. At night, I awaken them with my screams. The dreams are draining what sanity I still have. I have tried staying awake, but in vain. My visions have changed. No doubt the influence of my father's research. February 7th, 1925. The Dark Man, that is what I call him, has revealed his true face to me. He appeared, as usual, near the fireplace. But this time, he approached me. His terrible smile will haunt me to my dying day. His breath was ice and his burning eyes froze me. I could not move. I know, as surely as I have ever known anything, that the face I saw, the face that has turned my nights into hellish torture, is the mask of death. March 10th. My exhaustion is beyond description. The endless reading burns my eyes. It seems that pirates frequented the area. Dr. Herbert insists I keep to my bed. I have moved to another bedroom and sleep much better now. The dark man has not gone, however. I know it. He will wait for as long as he must. Unless I, Jeremy Hartwood, can find a way to send him back to whatever hell he comes from. March 11th. My poor knowledge of Greek and Latin is a serious handicap to my reading. I have, nevertheless, made a great step forward. I drew the symbol on the floor. He can no longer go there. I want him to understand that I can do the same thing in my bedroom. I can imagine his rage and frustration. Only last night he found his way back into my dreams. March 13th. The translation will seriously dent what money I have left. I cannot paint. My pictures are clearly the work of a lunatic. The collector Thornhill's embarrassed smile was proof of that. The lunatic. March 29th. He has come back. He found the door to my dreams. I am too weary to attempt any defense. I have no strength left to fight, and he knows it. March 30th. How ironic. The cave my father sought for so many years is here, beneath the house. Wait, the butler discovered a crack in the cellar wall. A breeze blows in through it, icy and repugnant. I am filled with horror at the thought of my father dying in this place. I will carry to my grave the vision of his face contorted in the agony of that fatal heart attack. His body was twisted. He had wept. His fingernails were torn and bloody from scrabbling at the floor. Dr. Gray concluded that death had been due to a heart attack. It was Waits, who some time later was informed that my poor father had in fact bitten off his tongue and choked on his own blood. March 
31st. I explored the caverns in a dream. The dark man came with me. Strangely, I felt almost well. How can I describe what I saw? No, what words are capable of explaining such evil? I realized that my death was of no interest to him. The dark man wants something else. He seeks a body. His avid servants are now free. I am the cause. <laughs> it is almost funny. A curse is on Dersetto. From the foundations to the very rooftop, I can no longer struggle, let alone eradicate the evil that grips the house. The end is very near. I can feel it. I have taken the decision to... <laughs> May he who finds this diary pray for my soul. Thinking like we can't sort of cut these or anything, or you know, destroy them. save after I read that thing, did I? I think that bloody worked.
The sons of the sun and of the shadows. Holy Christ! cried Captain Cortez, astonished by the strange rite we beheld. We found the savages half naked. They were throwing balls of silver and gold at each other. They laughed as if demented, clearly maddened by some heathen drug. And yet, as we discovered, this frightful game was a ritual most holy to them and symbolized the movement of the heavenly bodies. The dropping of a ball foretold a catastrophe. That is what the Aztecs believed. In the interior of the temple was surprisingly cool. The weight of our armor, our exhaustion, even the burden of our suffering, they were all banished by a sense of awe that the crudely magnificent altar instilled. In the tomb-like this massive stone draped in a golden cloak and studded with precious stones. Horror of horrors! The granite eyes of the statue, empty of life only moments before, were now injected with blood. We staggered back in amazement. Dom Jose was taken by a fit of convulsions. He tried to raise up his... Captain Cortez cried, ATTACK! Efforts. We were unable to move. Our armor seemed to be bolted to the temple floor. Our legs weakened, and we collapsed in a thunder of steel. Only Cortez had the presence of mind to unsheath his dagger. He hurled it at the cackling priest. Four inches of the finest Toledo steel. Never will I forget that terrible moment. My companions, naturally enough, told tales of devilish enchantments cast upon our armor. Whatever the truth of that, I could not deny that the supreme god of the fourth universe had treated us as mere playthings. I am convinced. Drawing of Chalchi Huitlique by Dom Jose de la Sierra, done before the destruction of the Aztec temple of Tenochtitlan. Thank you. 
Nomine invocatoris, si non sanctificatus es, cave. De vermis, nomine invocatoris. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's a trap. <laughs> 